Hello everyone. We are glad to introduce our project a real-time communication system powered by AI for specially abled persons. So that I am Prashant and my teammates are Venkata Krishnan, Zanani, Sanjay and Madheshwara. Now, the project is we are trying to help people with disabilities to easily communicate people who don't hear and speak use sign language to communicate. Common people don't understand the sign languages for that our project to translate sign language to normal language. I am going to hand over the session to Madheshwara. Now I am going to explain problem statement. The projection purpose to create a system that translates sign language into a human understandable language so that the ordinary people may understand it. Proposed solution. This project describes a problem faced by the speech and the hearing impact to design and develop a system which lowers the gap between speech hearing impairing the sign language to normal language, build a communication between deep dumb people to normal people. Further will explain by Sanjay. I am Sanjay. Now I am going to explain system architecture. Firstly, we upload the image data set. Then we did to pre-process the data for data pre-processing. We have to train and test the data. In the case of training, the training has to be evaluated. Then model has created. After that, user will give the input through the camera and input as sign values to the model section. The model will be predict the accurate value. Finally, the predicted output will be displayed through the web application. Further will be explained by Venkata Krishna. I am Chief Venkata Krishna. I am going to explain about a model building. How we train a model? First, import the data set and import the required libraries and convert the data set into requirement data using a image data generator. Then we are a 15,750 images that are belonging to 9 classes for a training data set. And 2,250 images belonging to 9 classes are for testing data set. So that each class index are seen here. Uh, A equal to 0, B equal to 1, C equal to 2, D equal to 3 like that. Then we are moved to model creation. Uh, we created a model using a sequential and added a layer such as uh, input layer, hidden layer and output layer and compiled the model. After compiling the model, we went on fitting the model. We used 10 epoch and accuracy is 0 0.9994 and save the model. Further will be explained by my teammate Janani. I am Janani. Now I am explain how to install the IBM Cloud deployment. How they are IBM Cloud Cloud for model building. We use to install the TensorFlow and Watson machine learning in ML package. Then we deploy the model using API key for IBM Cloud object storage and generate API key. Upload the data set. See file they are saved in streaming body then extract the unzip file was extracted then finally the only change differ in accuracy we compress the model and save the model compress format then saving the model to save the deployment space and save the tensorflow specification tensorflow id while specify while specify the deployment model id we are created this place uid the model followed by compressed format next we are moving to flask application development now we are going to see about flask application to show the output in the web application for that we are using flask application now here we imported the libraries and functions to create the application and we also used login and registration pages for user authentication purpose and we imported the model name called cv2 for accessing the local system camera 
to give the in user input and we loaded the model which is previously created and trained the trained model followed by we created the code for show the output in web application now we are going to see the demo video for that first we need to start the ser server for that we need to type python app.py yeah it will give the http code we need to copy and paste in browser for yeah so that this is the web, web page here we can read the details of our project and here we can open camera so that we need to first authenticate our user so now i'm going to type my user and password Now camera page is open. And the camera also open. Now we need to give an input to the local system camera. It's showing I and it's showing C and it's showing F. The model is trained well. and you want any reference sign you can view from here now what is going to explain future scope now uh, i am going to explain future scope having a technology that can translate and sign language to its corresponding alphabet is a game changer in the field of communication and ai for the specially able people such as a different dumb with the introduction of gesture recognition, the web app can easily be expanded to recognize letter. Behind T digit and the other simple plus gesture recognition can also allow controlling of software and hardware interfaces. Hereby, I will conclude the sign language is an important and useful tool for facilitating communication between deaf and hearing people. It is allows a two-way communication between normal people and deaf and dumb people. This system sends an hand gesture to the model who recognize them and display the equivalent alphabet on the screen. Deaf and dumb people can use their hand to perform sign language which will convert into an alphabet. Thanks for the opportunity to learn the amazing project. Thanks to IBM and the Knowledge Theory team.